Hi, my name is Lois Melarano. I'm a wildlife rehabilitator for the state of Connecticut, and I have a couple of animals I'd like to share with you today. They're very common animals, but they're very cute animals. This little guy is a seven-day-old cottontail. He's got the little white spot here, and his ears are the right size, so he's definitely an Eastern, not a New England. And I got him and his siblings because a dog dug up the nest. It was in a fenced yard. Um, bunnies aren't don't always pick the smartest places to have their babies. But anyway, the dog kept going back to the nest, so I decided to take them in and raise them and then release them here at White Memorial. And interestingly enough, especially with the cottontails, I always like to remind people, bunnies do not spend a lot of time with their babies. They'll go to the nest, they'll feed, they'll leave. So even if you see a nest and you're not seeing a mother hanging around right near it, doesn't mean that it's necessarily abandoned. Um, this little guy, this is quite amazing to me. This little guy, someone found this little guy in a parking lot, and how they managed to even see it is beyond me. This is a little mouse. Keep it out there. I'm just going to zoom in. I'm thinking probably white foot only because they are the most common, but I could be wrong. When he gets a little bigger and has his natural color, I'll be able to tell. But they have such a teeny tiny little mouth that it's very hard to feed them, even with the smallest dropper or the smallest nipple on a syringe. So I'm going to feed this little guy with a paintbrush. And he will just slurp that right off the paintbrush. And I don't have to worry about getting up his nose. He eats about every hour, and hour and a half during the day and about every two hours at night. But he will, they grow very, very quickly. So I will not have, you know, it won't, it'll only be maybe a week that I have to get up a couple times during the night. Well, I consider myself to be a fairly good rehabilitator, but no matter how good I am, I'm not Mama Bunny, I'm not Mama Mouse. If at all possible, it's always best to leave a baby with the mother. If circumstances prevent that, and you end up having to take a baby home, Number one rule is try not to touch it barehanded. Always use a glove for, for their protection as well as yours. Uh, number two, the, the main thing that these guys need, he's trying to burrow because he's cold. <laughs> oh, yeah. The main thing that these guys need initially is warm, dark, and quiet. Okay. They are wild animals and they stress easily when you know their nest is dug up by a cat or a dog so warmth just it, it's a typical treatment you know if you see on tv somebody goes into shock they say right away warm them up and that's basically what you're doing for the and animal and while the wa animal's warming where do you send them i suggest they call um they can call or go to the DEEP. the deep you can go to their website and search for distressed wildlife uh, many veterinarians, many nature centers have lists of wildlife rehabilitators in your area.